Hi, Dr. Eric Westman here with another episode of Learn with Dr. Westman, and today's episode is on Ozempic and other weight loss medicines. If you haven't downloaded my top 10 tips to start keto right, please look below in the description. Well, there's a lot of news about using drugs for weight loss, like Ozempic, that's one. Um, apparently, a lot of stars or, or rich folk have lost weight using the shot that takes away the hunger, and uh, you can lose a lot of weight, especially if you add it to a dietary program, cutting out sugary, starchy foods. Um, but you know, that's not the only way to go about it, and it wouldn't be my first thing to try. Um, I prefer to start with lifestyle, and then perhaps medicine, and, and then programs that uh, you just purchase the bars and shake from the doctors. Those are called very low calorie diets. And you know, there is a role in some uh, cases for weight loss surgery. Uh, however, I wouldn't start there. Same with medicines like Ozempic. Um, I am past president of the Obesity Medicine Association, which is the largest group of medical weight loss doctors, doctors who treat people largely in the U.S., and most of them use medications from the beginning. Uh, I like to start with lifestyle because if the lifestyle clicks, you don't need the medicines, uh, but um, uh, there's no question that medicines can be helpful. One of the downsides of using medicines, though, is that if it, you don't learn how to keep the weight off, the weight's just going to come back. So if you just rely on the medication and you don't transition to some other sort of eating, you go back to the way of eating that made you gain weight, you're just going to gain the weight back. Um, so you want to be sure if you use a medicine that you learn how to have a weight loss maintenance plan. It's a lifestyle plan. I mean, even if you use weight loss surgery, you have to develop a way to keep the weight off, which is the lifestyle plan eventually. Um, more and more, I, I think what I try to do is help protect people from our current sugar and proce ultra processed food disaster that's going on now, you know, and teaching people how to just not eat that is very effective. That's what I do, but then giving people medicine so they don't eat much of the ultra processed food is another way to go about it. The first weight loss medicine that was very popular and, and still is, um, it uses a sort of Adderall, fentramine, uh, amphetamine-like uh, approach. Uh, fentramine is the name of the pill, and it uh, gives you a little bit of energy, suppresses the hunger, it makes you fuller sooner, and it's a, a pill. Um, some people don't like jitter, the jittery side effects that you might get from it. Uh, enter now a new array of medications that uh, I have to say I'm happy that drug companies are putting their research and development into new medications for weight loss. For the longest time, there really hasn't been any research uh, into this area. Uh, so these newer medicines, though, can be very, very strong. Um, so the new understanding about these internal hormones that make you feel full has led to these injectable uh, medications. So it's, I wouldn't really call it a shot even, the needles are very small, but it's giving you the hormone that has been discovered internally that suppresses the hunger. And so you're basically uh, in, uh, injecting a, a internal hormone that gives you the feeling of fullness um, with that, there are some possible side effects. Usually they're GI related, gastrointestinal related, like nausea or, or uh, rarely vomiting, but, or diarrhea, loose stools, that sort of thing. So Ozempic is one of these uh, hormones that um, is uh, very effective in controlling the hunger. Uh, there are other ones that are even combination hormones, and one that you do every day, one that you do once a week. Um, some have come from the diabetes world where they were used to lower the blood sugar, and they were found to also lead to weight loss. So there's no question that they can work, but what we've noticed is that for some people, it's just very, very strong. 
So you're bordering on even not wanting to eat anything, which, which is, you know, a good result, but you need to eat something uh, for the safest and healthiest way to lose weight. Um, and that's really what an obesity medicine specialist does. We learn that there's a, a, a uh, kind of um, area within which, inside certain guardrails of safe and effective and tolerable weight loss, you don't want to lose weight too fast. You don't want to lose weight too slow either. So, uh, but the Ozempic and other injectable medications are very effective and in conjunction with good nutrition, meaning you know, protein comes first. Ideally, you're under the care of a obesity medicine trained physician who understands the relationship between medications and food. Sometimes the general doctor is prescribing these medicines and not knowing the safe parameters with which to stay in. Uh, and that's a little bit of a concern to me. So that if you're so appetite suppressed, you don't want to eat anything, I still want you to eat, even when you're in a weight loss kind of program. The body functions best with some food and protein every day, we think. Um, so, you know, I'm not against using medications. I, I don't think they should be the first thing you try, just because if the lifestyle change is effective for you and simple for you, and it's effective and simple for many, many people, uh, then you don't have to go to the time, the expense, the side effects of using a medication or other kind of, of program. Um, but remember that these are, are medicines that are kind of um, mimicking internal hormone effects, and they can be quite strong. And then that raises the issue of, we don't really know the long-term effects of these things. Um, the long-term effects of certain drugs aren't really known in, until years of use out in clinical practice. So you're taking on the possibility that there's some kind of unknown risk to using these things. Um, but it, it may be something that you want to try. It may be within your budget and um, maybe you've tried different diets and they haven't worked for you. But it, if you haven't try, uh, tried a simply presented uh, kind of a low-carb keto diet like the one that we teach, then you really haven't tried all the diets that are out there. So be sure to check out our method of teaching it. Part of the ability of it to be simple, uh, it makes it more, more um, followable and more sustainable. So how you learn how to do it makes a big difference in terms of the sustainability. I try to keep things just as simple as possible. So when things get busy, you're not having to really change much in terms of the diet. You have that solid foundation to work from. So, uh, you know, um, medications might be something you want to try. Just realize there are, are side effects and, and expenses and, and please learn a system to help you keep the weight off at the end of using a medication like that. Uh, because otherwise the weight's going to come right back on. I hope that's helpful, and if you haven't downloaded my top 10 tips to start keto the right way, please look in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and check out adapterlifeacademy.com.